Okay, on page 20, we are looking at when we prepare a solution. So if you were to go into the um, chem prep area and I told you I wanted you to make um, a six molar hydrochloric acid, okay? So that would be a little bit stronger of an acid than say a three molar hydrochloric acid. And oftentimes we buy things in big stock containers and then we will dilute them down so that they're a weaker acid or a weaker concentration of something. Um, so we look at how we prepare things and what we do to dilute them. Um, and the equation that we're going to use for these guys is this one right here, M1V1 equals M2V2. When you read your problems, you want to label all four of these variables in the word problem. So when I look at number five, what volume? That's the question right there. So they will label this guy V1. <clears throat> and of course, they're going to want their answer in milliliters. Make sure they you see that. Um, of a two molar calcium chloride stock solution. So they're telling you the molarity of what they want the volume for. So that's M1. So what volume of that molarity would you use to make 50 liters, so this is your V2, of three molar, and that's your M2. Okay, so now at this point, we have all four variables. So when we write the equation of M1V1 equals M2V2. Now we just plug those numbers in because we've already labeled them. So our M1 was two molar and V1 is our question. That's the variable we're solving for. Equals M2 is three molar and volume two is 0.5 liters. Okay, so these two get multiplied over here. So it's 2V equals 0.15 on this side. Now if you take, we're still going to solve for V because these are being multiplied over here. Well, well, then we have to do the opposite. If they're being multiplied, we divide. We divide by 2 to get rid of the 2. Now V is alone. But then we have to do the same to the other side. So we divide 0.15 by 2. And V1 will then equal 0 0.075 liters. But you have to look back at the original question. They wanted the answer in milliliters. So you simply swing that decimal three spots. Volume 1 would be 75 milliliters. All right, looking at number six, let's move down here. How many, I feel green, how many milliliters? So again, that's a question for volume. And of two molar magnesium sulfate, there's your M1. That's a molarity. That solution must be diluted with water to prepare this volume of this molarity. So again, we have all four variables. Our equation is always M1V1 equals M2V2. And now we plug and chug. Molarity one is two. Volume is what we're trying to answer. And then we put in molarity two is 0.4. And volume two is 100 milliliters. So do the multiplication on each side. Two times V equals uh, 4. Why am I having such a hard time with this? 40. Hello. Okay, divide each side by 2. And V1 equals 20 milliliters. Now, because... This, the only thing you have to make sure is that both of your volumes are either, they can be in milliliters or liters, but they have to be the same. Okay, so if V1 is in milliliters, then V2 has to be in milliliters. If 
V2 is in liters, then you would be solving for V1 in liters. But if they ask it, the question is for it is in milliliters, then you'd have to do that converting. And again, that's just either a three decimal place swing of that decimal point. Um, going to the next page. Up on top, now all the answers are here on the bottom. And some of the questions for number one, they are just using molarity equals moles per liter. But remember that if you see it in grams, you have to convert that to moles first. Okay. And if you're in milliliters, make sure you convert that to liters. <clears throat> um, two, three, four. Two, three, and four are going to be using M1V1 equals M2V2. And then five, six, seven are using your percent mass or percent volume where you do grams of the solute over grams of the solution multiplied by 100 to get a percent. This might be um, liters over liters. So if it's volume, then it'll be 100. Uh, and actually, these are all grams. So you'd be using this one right here. Okay, so here's your answers down here. Um, the answer key, I've worked everything out for you step by step. You can see that in the filled in packet if you need to access that. Or um, again, today we meet at 1130 for question and answer. All right. Take care, guys.